So glad you are tuning in to join us for our virtual Christmas pageant. Uh, we've never done this before, but we've said that a, that a lot this year. Uh, we're all doing new things. And uh, we're so glad that we're getting to do this pageant in this way. It has been so much fun putting it together. My wife and I have been on the computer editing and just laughing and uh, enjoying seeing, seeing the kids of our church and, and people chipping in. It's been fun. Um, and so the, the theme of this pageant is uh, do not be afraid. And we think that's just a great message for, for where we are in our world right now. There's a lot that people yeah. are afraid of. And so we're just really, really glad that we can put on this production, that we can remind ourselves and our kids can remind us uh, that there, there are good reasons to not be afraid. There's good news. And uh, we want to share that good news with you tonight. So pop popcorn and enjoy the movie. They all lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. Good night, Maya. Sleep tight. Wait, can you stay a while longer? Why? What's wrong, Naya? That book made me nervous, and now I'm thinking about all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Well, let's see. There's alligators, coronavirus, um, gorillas, lemons. Yo-yos and Zoom. Whoa, did, did you just list all your fears in order? I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes. So how do I feel better about it? Well, books help. When I am afraid or I am worrying, I remember that I am part of a story that is way bigger than myself. And God's story is full of people who are sometimes afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This part of God's story is during a time when many people are afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Do you want to talk to me? We haven't met before, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do! Greetings, favored one. God is with you. What kind of greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And his kingdom will never end! How can this be? How is this gonna happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, a child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, your relative Elizabeth is gonna have a child. Uh, yeah, people said it was impossible, but you know, nothing's really impossible with God, so yeah. Was all of that a question? Oh, um, well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to go see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? Mary. I'm coming in. Mary, come on in. Mary, you are blessed among all women. And the baby in your womb is blessed as well. As soon as your voice hit my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Here, feel. Elizabeth, I also have something to tell you. God took one look at me, and look at me now. People will never forget what he has done for me. I'm talking about the God who knocked the most powerful people off of their thrones and raised up the lowly. So, uh, can I stay with you for a few months? You're the 
pickle. <laughs> Mary is pregnant. How is this possible? We aren't even married yet. And the law says this is not good, not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. And that will save my reputation at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do. And I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves because he will save his people from their sins. Uh, I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary, and we're going to have a baby and name him Jesus. I'm going to be a daddy. I need to pack. Hold on, I have questions. Why was Joseph packing a bag? Do angels really show up in dreams? And why is everybody making such a big deal about it? It's just a baby. This story is so weird, I just... Yeah, I don't know the answer to most of those questions. This is a bigger than life kind of story and there are a lot of miraculous and unexplainable parts. That kind of sounds like what Pastor Jeff says when I ask tough questions. Good. I'm glad I sound like Pastor Jeff, because we don't know all the answers. But I do know the answer to one of those questions. Why is Joseph packing? To understand that, we'll have to meet the emperor. Your Lord and Savior, Shepherd, Light, Way, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome. For all the great things that I've done for you, there has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast and you people are obedient. I am saving you. All of you, and you owe me so much, so much. <laughs> Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation for my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Hey, ooh, ooh, hey, hey, hey. Finally, this baby is not gonna wait much longer. Where are we staying? Did you get a room at the inn I like with the good breakfast? Oh, uh, no, hey, uh, 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 uh. Then where do you expect us to stay? Out, outside with the shepherds or in a stable with donkeys? Well, no. Ooh, whoa, ooh, da. Joseph, this baby is coming now. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Serious Joe? Okay, stop there. What? Why? I really don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Hmm. Okay, we can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't really tell us anything about Mary's birth. It just says that Mary had the baby and wrapped him in strips of cloth and put him in a feeding trough. That's it. But those are important details to remember for later. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going.
There are shepherds living outside in the fields nearby, watching over their sheep. They're about to be frightened by something, by some powerful messengers from God, but they'd soon realize they did not have to be afraid. Hey, hey, that's my staff! Mine! 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 Stop fighting! It's my staff! Am I on mute? Are these people even listening? Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause good joy for the people. David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby. Let's go. I am the baby. Good news for all the people. Good news for all the people. The Messiah, the Lord. The Savior. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven. favors. That is all. Goodbye. So you were so happy, right? So, um, yes, you did. Uh, yep, that happened. Uh, so, we're going, right? Uh, I guess we have to. Should we bring the sheep? No, I don't think so. Ah, ah. What were those signs again? Bah, a baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Bah. Was it something about a baby? Wrapped in strips of cloth? Lying in a manger. Yeah, let's go. You come too.
that fellow shepherds was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel described it. The baby was wrapped in cloth of cloth lying in the manger. Friends, we've experienced something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but I feel like the world is changing. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I've never seen that one before. Hello, and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. We are wise people. The Magi. We're scientists, really. Astronomers. We study the star. We study the star so well that when something new pops up, we instantaneously notice it. And just recently, a new star popped up. Now we must follow our scientific, scientific instincts we, to find out what this star is. We begin the journey. Are we there yet? Uh, did you really just ask that? No. <gasps> it looks like it was here. Ah, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would have been me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. I'm the, the biggest, um, the most powerful King of Bethlehem has ever seen. Uh, your crown's on backwards. Got it. Best king ever. We have come to honor the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We saw his star rising. And we have come to honor him. Excuse, excuse me for a little bit. I, 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 I must take a call. What, what was it? Uh, five o'clock. He put me through to my smart people. Hi, this is your king, the very best king. I need you to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh, 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 uh,
Jesus is born, he grows up, he teaches, he heals, he turns water into wine, he flips tables, he... Yes, yes, you're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Okay. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news each and every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. But that doesn't mean we won't worry. We can trust that justice will have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's talk to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Rejoices in God. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God. For He who is mighty has done great things for me. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham, to Sarah, and to their descendants forever.